Okie dokie. So, time for another reference video. So, today I would like to check the arc furnace and I would like to check how each ore, as you can see here, uh, so what is each ore producing in terms of moles and how much charge is it using for one uh, piece of, uh, yeah, piece of ore. This is this is my setup here. As you, you can see, all the six gases that are in the game. Uh, there's a little bit of a contraption to measure the charge. The furnace is encased in in a room, and this is pretty much my my setup. So let's start with this. So if we take one piece of iron, and as you can see, the iron is processed, and the iron needs 200. 10 charge charge from the from the battery. I'm not calling it watts. Um, it also need uh, it also produces uh, 0 0.5 uh, moles of CO2, and it produces two moles of X. Yeah. So if we purge this, and we take the next one, this is the silver. The silver needs 1,010 charge. It produces 0 0.4 N2. It produces one mole of N2O and it produces one mole of X. And as you can see, the temperature is zero. So the temperature is uh, zero if you smelt uh, 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 the, uh, the ore. Right. So let's go to the next one. Silicon. We have to purge it here. And this is very interesting with the, with the temperature. If you, uh, as you can see, you get zero degree gas from the, from the, from the furnace. So this is quite a cooling uh, device uh, if you have ore to smelt. The silicon needs 110 charge. It produces one mole of CO2. It produces one mole of N2. And it produces one mole of X. Yeah. Let's purge it. Next one, the copper. The copper also zero degree temperature. It uses 510 charge. It produces one mole of CO2. It produces 0 0.5 moles of N2 and it produces one mole of X. Next one. The lead. The lead uses 1010 charges, also zero degree gas. It produces 0 0.4 uh, CO2. It produces one mole of N2. It produces 0 0.4 N2O and it produces two moles of X. All right. As you can see, whoop. if you have a good setup, you can check this. And so, the, yeah, uh, let's finish this and then we can talk. Uh, so, the nickel, 1010 charge, also zero, zero degree uh, gas. It produces one mole of CO2, it produces 0 0.5 moles of N2, and produces one mole of X. Next one, gold. Lit one gold. And here we go. And as you can see, gold is very, very power hungry. So it uses 2010 charge. It also produces zero degree uh, gas. It produces 0 0.2 moles of CO2. It produces 0 0.5 N2. And it produces oxygen. It's the only one that produces oxygen. So 0 0.2 oxygen, you get. Uh, for each piece of uh, gold and it produces two more of X. So now we come to the interesting things. The biomass. If you process the biomass in the furnace, you get zero point, uh, yeah, you get zero, zero degree gas. It uses 510 charge. 
and it produces 4 moles of X and 8 moles of volatiles. Very interesting. As you can see, this is quite the amount of uh, volatiles you get from the, from the uh, biomass. And now we come to the very unusual stuff, the cobalt. And the cobalt is not really used in the game, but... Oh, I forgot to purge it. Uh, this should work as well. And now it should purge. Uh, now it should process. Uh, let's try this again. Hang on. Was a little bit distracted here with the cobalt. The cobalt. As you can see, the cobalt doesn't use any amount of charge. The 10 charge uh, uh, here you see this is a normal operating from the from the furnace. If the furnace is in idle mode, it uses 10 watt and at a uh, 10 charge, not calling it watt. It also produces zero zero degree gas. It produces two point uh, uh, no three three moles of N2 and it produces one mole of volatiles. Yeah, as you can see, this is very, very interesting. Cobalt doesn't use any charge. Right, so let's go to the next one. If you process a coal, if you process a coal, you get 200 degree gas. Yeah. If you remember, this is the same amount uh, from the from the um, uh, solid generator. If you have seen my reference video for the solid generator, you get 200 degree gas from the from the furnace as well. It doesn't use any charge, so you can process your your coal pretty much uh, without uh, uh, any energy. You get 10 moles of CO2, very interesting, and you get three moles of X. Yeah, so this is a very good source for CO2, and uh, yeah, if you ha you have to deal with the with the temperature from it, if you want to use it. Now, charcoal. Now you. Oh, charcoal. The charcoal, as expected, it produces 400 degree gas. It doesn't use any charge. It produces three mole of CO2. It, it produces three, three mole of X. So if you want to have uh, CO2, maybe it is, an, is a viable option, but you have to deal with the temperature. And what you can see here is, if you are on, let's say, on Europa, and you need cold, uh, a, a very hot gas for some reason, um, this is the source for your for your very hot gas. Yeah. Right, now, the uranium is a little bit of an oddity, because it is not... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's purge it. Because it is not really used in the game right now. But, we have it in the game and we can check it. And as you can see, it produces 300 degree gas. So if you, if you need something that is, that is reasonable hot, and you have a lot of uranium laying around. It doesn't use any charge, as you can see here, and it produces 35 moles of X. Right, this is pretty much the reference. And yeah, as you can see, if you if you smelt the ores uh, one by one in the in the furnace, you can get zero degree gas from it, and this is pretty much. The reference. I'm not explaining the, the the setup here. I mean, I can yeah maybe for my own reference I can see what I have done here. This is pretty much the the program uh, for the for the display, and it uses the ratio from the and it calculates it by one room. This is just the ideal gas uh, formula. Right, so anything else? This program is a little bit, uh, yeah, 
don't get too distracted from the from the setup here. Most most things are just for for my measurement setup, so I can have an easy way to just uh, chuck in uh, one piece of ore, and I have the display for it. Uh, in a real world, you just need uh, a chute, a room, and probably some active fans uh, to perch the the room after each uh, piece. Because if you if you put a whole stack into the into the uh, um, uh, uh, furnace. The first piece gets these numbers. The second piece, uh, the furnace heats up the the, the atmosphere, and this means um, you will not get zero degree gas if you not perch after every after every piece of uh, smelted uh, ore. If you not perch the room, you get not uh, the zero zero degree gas. Anyway, this is just a reference video. Um, uh, as usual, I make this reference videos for myself mostly uh, to have a good idea uh, how the game is changing, especially now it is changing quite frequently. And I can do this uh, yeah, in the next uh, iterations of the, uh, yeah, for the next iterations of the game, I can do it uh, again and see if something has changed. But maybe it is interesting for you as well, and uh, yeah, you can write down the numbers if you want, and you can use it. Anyway, I hope you have a good day, and see you.